Now, this lady I'm about to speak to belongs to a group of people I call superhumans or miraculous human beings because give me a sheet of paper, a canvas, and ask me to draw anything. Or even ask me to draw a straight line, I will get it wrong. Give me a piece of paper and a pen and tell me to probably write down a poem or write a piece of music and I will not be able to do it. That's why I call them superhumans because artists in general are just super creative human beings. I am one, but I love to talk. That's what I do for a living. But she does it differently. She puts whatever she feels like or whatever she thinks about on a canvas. And then she gives an interpretation to it. And oftentimes, if you don't have an artistic mind, you will not be able to give or find an artistic impression of what she's been able to put down on the canvas. Speaking this morning um, to Alice Enyonam de Souza, she calls herself, is it Nyonyo yeah. or Nyonyo? No, Nyonyo. Nyonyo. Yeah. Uh, you are you are mm. aware. Oh, okay. So that's where the Nyonyo <laughs> is coming from. What's the meaning of Nyonyo? It's good, it's good. It's good, yeah. It's good. It's good. So it's why good. didn't you say Enyo? No, and I it just... has to be Nyonyo. It just sounds so nice. I mean, yeah. It's so catchy. It's like yeah. Nyonyo. I think um, it sounds international as well. Yeah, although someone told me in another language it means breast. Oh, <laughs> so imagine that. Oh, okay. So I know that Nigerians will say no, no. I don't yes. know about nyonyo. Yeah, but Timmy will also say no, no. Oh, ah. Without the why. It's true. Anyway, we'll stick to the right one. We'll stick to the good one, <laughs> which is good, good, or God is good, yeah. or whatever it is that yeah. we want to put with this money. But you're welcome to our studio. Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. But what, uh, uh, we haven't started anything. Why, why are you painting? What, what are you drawing? What, what's going on? I can't tell you what I'm doing till I'm done. Is that what you artists do all the time? Yes. You never apology. want to say anything that you're doing. No, because while I'm doing it, you uh -huh. know, some other ideas might come up and then okay. I change something and then you're like, no, that's not what you told me. And then I have to explain. And all right. You don't like talking so much. Okay, no problem. So I'll just wait till you're done with whatever you're painting. But I've got a few questions. Yes. Yeah, sure. What is it that you have on the table? Is it honey? In this container, is it honey I see? No, it's paint, there's water so I can wash my brush because I don't want to destroy the color, the mixing of the colors. Okay, so this big silver jar here is water. Just water. So that's not paint. No, And it's then not the paint. little bottles I'm seeing, the colorful ones are all paint? Yes, they are all paint. Okay, so what's informing the colors that you're using this morning? Is it an inspiration or you just want to use these colors on the table what's going on um i'm just winging it so to speak yeah. you know um, whatever the mood brings and then whatever goes on in my head and as you go along you know these colors just they just mix together and then you know what you're doing so that's just... what it, that's what i keep saying all the time that you artists especially people who paint i i i think you're miraculous human beings because what you're doing is not even making sense to me but i know it will make sense at the end of the day but yeah. let's let's get to know you better i was reading okay. a little about you and um i was told or i read that you get inspired by god and then by photography what is it about God that inspires you? I mean, don't you think he's the best artist in the world? Everything you have around you is created by him. So if everything around you is created mm -hmm. by him, including your mind and then all the diverse people, mm -hmm. every single cell in the world, then mm -hmm. that's the most amazing artist in the world. I agree. He practically formed a human being from clay. That's like sculpture. Right. So, and, and talking about sculpture, I've always said that I think the woman or the female that God created is the highest representation of God's creativity. Yeah. Because I take a look at, at a woman, I see everything that she's made of, her calves and everything. And for me, I think that the woman is the highest representation of God's creativity. But of course, you can talk about nature, mountains, valleys, whatever, water bodies, waterfalls, and, and all that. Why, why are you taping what you're doing? I'm creating a design. Okay, so you would need a tape. Yes. Now let's get into the things that you're using. Mm -hmm. Is it just any brush that you can use, like my makeup brushes that I use in the morning, or the specific brushes that you use for painting? Well, there are specific brushes, but if you're like me, I like to, you know, improvise sometimes. So okay. yes, you can use your makeup brushes sometimes. Yes. Yeah, because I have one right here. Okay. Now, this plate that you, you artist... Oh, you have a makeup brush over there. <laughs> I see. Let, let, me, let me see it again. Is it, is, is it a liner brush? Yeah, yeah it's a I liner. Know. I would use this to line my, 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 my eyes, but it's okay. So, this plate that you people use, what's the name of this plate? Actually, 
is the palette. You have oh, a palette, and you have one, one that's meant for art. But like I said, I like to improvise. So this one is not meant for art. Not you necessarily, but then people kitchen. use glass. Okay. Some people use um, different objects. I'm using metal because I find it easier to just wipe the art, the paint oh, off it. Off so. the metal. Yeah. So that's why you're using you're, you're using metal. Yeah. Now, still reading about you, um, you mentioned that your most sought after piece of work right now is a combination of metal and um a sort of velvet exactly what, what do you mean by that well um i love metals i've always loved metals but i don't see metals here this morning <laughs> do you have metals here this is metal the, the 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 palette the funny thing is i made this when i was in my first year of university are you kidding so you know it's like monumental for me but um there is a piece around I made for the CEO, Mrs. Um, Beatrice. Beatrice Hachimani. Yes. Oh. But then I can't make it here because that involves a lot of work. But did you did you post it on your social media? Maybe we can do a picture so we see. Or you didn't, you didn't post no, it? No, I want to have her see it first and then we post it. Oh, she hasn't even seen it? No, she so hasn't. So it's supposed to be a surprise for Beatrice? Yes, yeah, so it's supposed Fantastic. to be. Yeah. Okay. Now, so, so let's get into how all of this started um, for you. I know you write poems as well, don't you? And then you I can... Just, you, I just started. You just started that yeah. one. Do you sing as well? I do. But just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So did you happen to have done visual arts in school or this is natural? How did this start for you? Um, when I was young, I'm naturally, I'm a gift giver. I like to give gifts all the time okay and then i realized well if you don't have money to get the gifts make something okay so then i used to make all these arts and then that's where it started and then i went to high school did visual arts and then from there university and i did um integrated raw arts and industry so it's yes. always been art art and that's just who i am mm. i'm just one of those babies that never forgot how to paint and draw so all four years of your life in KNUST, this is what you were up to? No, I wasn't painting in UST though. What were you doing in UST? So many things. Like what? Ceramics, metals, leather, bamboo wood, so many different works. I mean, so your entire life is just art, art, art. How long have you been out of school, out of uni? When um, did you graduate? Um, 2016. 2016, yeah. and then we are in 2021. So it's been some good five years. Tell me, how profitable is this thing that you're doing? I don't even understand what's going on. Would, would you want to explain to me? No, not You yet. still don't want to explain? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to force you to because I, I, I have a few friends. And my own cousin is like you. It doesn't even make sense, but he's doing it. And by the time he's done, it will make sense. Do your friends even understand you? Yeah, they do. Are you some sure? of them anyway. Some of them understand you. Yeah, some of them understand So me. this thing that you're doing, where did it come from? Did this inspiration just come as you sat here in the studio or you knew what you were going to do from the time you woke up this morning? No, I had an idea of what I was going to do when I woke up this morning, but I picked up ideas as I came along on the taxi, around, you know, okay. seeing you. So this thing that you're doing, how long is it going to take for you to finish? Well, I have about 15 minutes okay. of an interview, so, so I think it will take that much time. Okay, so for time. everything that you have done in your life as an artist, what's the shortest time frame you have used for a painting? Ooh, I wouldn't say a painting, mm. rather the aluminium and then the velvet thing, okay. a day. Okay, how long did that take? A day. A day? A whole day, no sleeping, no, 24 hours, complete 24 hours. And, and you sat through 24 hours? Without blinking, you didn't sleep at all? No, I didn't sleep. What for? Why, why don't you want to sleep? Because if you sleep, you will lose the inspiration. No, it's just, it's just an energy. When you start something and then you really want to finish it, you just can't go to sleep. You know, you want to finish that before you go to bed. So Okay, so now she's thing. taking the tapes off. Oh, so it was deliberate so that she can... Ah, so the tape was serving as your frame for whatever painting uh, you were doing this morning. Okay, now it's, it's, it's making sense. Yeah. But for somebody like me who doesn't know anything about art, how do I appreciate what you have done? Well, the fun thing about art is, 
for me, whenever I go somewhere and maybe I'm exhibiting a painting, I love to hear what anyone has to say. You know, people right. have different meanings to different works, especially when it comes to abstract works. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have an idea as to why I did it at this way, but then somebody just coming in goes like, oh, I think this looks like that, and this looks like a bird, and mm -hmm. this looks like flowers, and I'm like, well, I didn't know that. So, anyway, you want to interpret it. Mm -hmm. And then that's just that's the that's the thing. It stimulates your mind. You are thinking about it, and then you are picking up the story that the artist is trying to tell. And that's just it. Okay, we'll get into the story that you are trying to tell this morning. But I'm told that your first major major exhibition was late last year for an NGO. Yeah. Tell us about it. Which NGO was this? Um, little big, uh, little big souls. Here it's in an, Ghana. Yes, it's an NGO for premature babies. Okay. Yeah. So what did you draw that day? It was about five paintings. Oh, it about... wasn't just even one? Yes. Okay. And that was like rush hour. I spent about four days making that. Five paintings? Yes. Um, <laughs> so it was for an NGO, but did you get the opportunity to make money out of it? Yes. Or it was for yes. charity? No. So basically, if you are able to do a portrait or something like that, that you exhibited um, for the NGO, in, in terms of Ghana cities, how much can you earn? Well, it depends on the value of the painting. Okay. Really. Um, can earn anything from seven hundred. Depends on the size too. So, so you, I, I asked the deliberate question because yeah. you mentioned value. Yeah. How do you put value on a piece of art? What determines the value? Was it the colors that were used? Where the inspiration came from, or the amount of man hours that was put? into making the piece of art. You know what, all of that, the colors, the technique you use, what it's about, the size of the canvas you're using, all of this counts in um, the amounts you charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that would determine how much the, the piece of art should go. So were you able to sell all five during the exhibition? Yes, I was. I, I was, and I was so excited. I think I cried that day a little. Oh, because just because you were able to sell all of them? No, I mean, it was my first major exhibition, and I haven't been painting for a very long time mm. before that, so it was like my first painting, and then, wow, people were actually asking questions. They wanted to know what it was about, right. and then it was so interesting. Okay, so tell us about the journey. You said you, you stopped painting for a while and la last year was when you painted and then had the exhibition. What happened along the way? Did you lose your love for it? Are there times that you wake up and you don't even feel like painting at all? Yes, there are, there are times. Yeah? There are times you wake up and then there's no inspiration really to ah. do anything. But that wasn't what happened. What happened? Um, I wanted to try something new, so, so I went into probiotic yoga for a while. Mm. Yes, and then during the COVID era, I had to come back home for some personal reasons. Okay. And then that's when a friend, a friend said, you know, paint this for this person. I did that. And then one thing led to another. And then the exhibition started. Then I had a, another exhibition um, this year, too. Right. So... Yeah. Okay, so paint a proper picture for me to understand. Okay. From kindergarten through primary school to um, GHS and S, did, did you think you could do this or you were doing it as you were growing up? Yes, I was doing it as I was growing up. In fact, in GHS, I don't know if any of my classmates are watching and mm -hmm. they would remember, I used to draw our teachers, especially when they pissed me off. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you used to draw your teachers when they got you angry in yes. that moment. Why? Yeah, you know, um, it was, the class was boring and I was getting angry. I'd rather spend the time drawing you. So you would draw ugly pictures of them or no, beautiful pictures of them? beautiful pictures, but it just took because my attention off. I'm trying off. to understand because you're upset. So if you're upset, how come you're drawing something positive well, of them? Because um, they are upsetting you, right? Yes, but then drawing is therapeutic, so... I'll draw a nice, you know. So you, you were but... one of those pupils who'll be sitting in class, teacher is busily teaching, and your attention is totally out of the classroom because you're drawing. Were you one of such? Yes. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. Uh, because I can see the way your answer has just toned it down. Yes, I was. I admit it, I was. Wow. I was. I was one of those. So at what point in your life did you realize that you could draw or you could be an artist? Did you realize it soon enough? Yes, I did. Like at what age? Oh, I think very young. But because like I said, mm. I love to give gifts. Right. And whenever, and back then we didn't have so much. So 
um, instead of you know going to buy anything expensive, I'll draw a card, you know, draw on a piece of paper, and make a card, and then yeah, that's that's how it started. So who has this in your family? Mom, dad, grandma, grand? Who has this? My dad was very talented in um, um, architecture. Okay, actually, right. But then that's all I know about it. Mm. Yeah. So you have a feeling this is where probably a little percentage of it of it came yes, from. Yes. I see. I'm still trying to make sense of what you're drawing. I can't see it <laughs> properly from here. I'm just waiting for you to to finish. So this this water in this jar. Can you take you through the whole the whole portrait that you're painting, or you need to keep changing? Um, it depends on what colors I'm using. I'm using a lot of black. I would have loved to change it, but it's okay. I can. You just, can manage. I can manage that right okay. now. Okay. So how many colors are on this canvas right now? Can you tell how many colors have you used? Uh, so far, about five. About five colors. Yes, about five colors. Okay, so she's getting ready to explain to us exactly what it is that um, she's drawn. But even before you start the explanation, and would you say that this is profitable? It is. Very profitable. It is. You can make a living off painting. It is profitable. And I would love for all the young ones um, out there who think it's not because people tell them that the stereotype of um artists don't make money right they do right because um there's an artist i recently discovered a marco um dior used his uh, painting as inspiration for their clothing okay. and options are being made and it's amazing you mm. see such stories and it's so inspiring mm. there are many artists out there who are actually making it maybe they are not saying anything about it but they are there it exists it happens you can yeah. make it right. it depends on your determination and how much you are ready to um work okay the funny thing is mm. we as artists sometimes we do not research we do not seek opportunities we are waiting for the opportunities to come to us but i think when we, we start to research We'll find all these opportunities, okay. and then opportunities obviously will lead to right. that. Yeah. So, so for someone like me who cannot draw anything to save my life, can I learn? I, 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 I think that's not true. Can I learn? That's not true. That I can't. Draw. I can't <laughs> draw anything. You did the, draw. I your... cannot draw anything. It okay, was. I did technical drawing in school, but th that was only because it was technical. But I can actually tell you that I never made even 80% or even 70%. I think my average was like 55 all the time or 58 max. But can I, would I be able to learn? Yes, you can. You can learn? Yes, you and can become learn. an expert. And then, okay. funny enough, can you draw your brow? I mean, in terms of makeup. I did, I did this this morning. So you can draw. Okay. The so words I can draw. You can draw. Okay. You can do your own makeup. You can select what dress to wear. Okay. You are practically so an artist. I'm an artist. You're an artist. By nature. Yes. So I can just probably add a little bit more practice. And, that's and then all. I can do what you're doing. Yeah. And you're, now I'm confused. I saw a very beautiful image in, in the middle of the canvas. Now you have run black paint all over it. So I am not sure what's <laughs> going on. But we have three minutes to go. Ooh. Is it okay for you to start explaining? Uh, oh. Okay. Yes, I'm going to take that off. There's an image in there. It's actually a silhouette. And you know, working with gloves doesn't work for me all the time. I'm just take this out. So, okay. I so I think I've distracted you enough. <laughs> I am sorry. Um, I'm told you guys don't even like to talk when you're drawing. True. So forgive me. It had to be a little interactive this morning. Can you forgive me? Don't worry. I but understand. Let me just keep quiet for like a minute. Um, so now you are going to do the talking. So let's see okay. what you're doing. So it's a silhouette of you, actually. That's why she didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Are you kidding? And I don't know if I'll be able to. Um... You should be able to. <laughs> Do you need help? No, 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 no. It's, it's all right. It's not dry. It has to be dry, right? Yes, it has uh, to be and dry. And it's not dry. And you're trying to force it. I'm trying to force it because yeah. I have just three minutes. So. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. It's, it's okay. This doesn't even make sense to me. I have a whole lot, a whole lot to learn. So basically, if I can distract you a little bit, what would you need to be able to come out with this portrait? You need your, your paint. You yeah. need your canvas. Well, you, you need an image. Oh, you have to have an image in mind, of yeah, course. course. So is this a photo you saw of me somewhere? Or just oh. when you saw me this morning in our pre-discussion? I was stalking you. I was stalking you. Stalking me? Yeah. So you know how I look like almost every day? Hmm. 
Hmm, I can't say. I mean, I could get arrested for stalking, so I, w I wouldn't but say. But you've already mentioned. Yeah, but you don't know how long I've been stalking you, so. You told me off air when we are done. <laughs> okay, I might. So how many, how many more minutes do you need? Um, maybe like five. Oh, five. Producer, do we have five minutes? She's trying to yank off um, the peeling on the canvas to reveal whatever she's been able to do this morning. Um, Can I see? Can I see if this kind of looks like me? Well, I can tell from the side of my face that it kind of looks like me. Are you done yanking off everything? Yeah. You're done peeling it off? The fun thing about a silhouette is uh -huh. you can't tell if you are closer. So I should be far away to be able to... Yeah. No, but honestly, from where I stand, I can actually tell that the side that I'm seeing looks like the left part of my face. Mm -hmm. How you're able to do that, I absolutely have mm. no idea. But it kind of looks like me. So hurry and let's show it okay. to our viewers and then they will be the judge if this looks like me or not. I see... Wow. So are you open to more exhibitions this year or something? Uh, maybe um, next year. Okay. Next so year. now if, so do you do this commercially? If people want uh, portraits of them and all, are you able to do anything like yes. that for them? Yes, so what, what, what number can we reach you on as you finish off this, this um, portrait? 054-681-8337. Kindly take it again. Um, 054-681-8337. Six eight one eight three three seven. Okay. Are you on Instagram or any other social? Yes, media I platform? am on Instagram. Um, I am Nyonyo One. I am Nyonyo One. Okay. So yeah. I am, and then N Y O N Y O, and then Figure One, right? Yeah. You mean Figure One? Okay. So that's how you can find her on Instagram, and she gave out her phone number. If you want her to do a portrait of you, she can do that for you as well. I see my face. This is interesting. <laughs> That's why I call them super humans. I, I, there's no way I can do this. Well, she says I can learn and you out there can also learn. I don't know how feasible, how possible that is. Um, but in this world, whatever you put your mind to is possible. So I believe that it can be done. Are you ready? So we uh -huh. show this to the entire world. Yeah. So what is this thing that you people do all the time? I see it all the time. Uh, they just splash the paints just anyhow. And sometimes it can really, really look beautiful. And that's actually what increases the value of the painting. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Yeah. So I think... Um, okay, so <laughs> she's going to show us what she's done. And Auntie B's portrait or painting is also ready. Um, I'm going to be receiving it on behalf of Auntie B. So Auntie B, if you, I know you're watching, it's not about if you're watching. Beatrice Ajiman, our CEO right here at Media General. I know you're watching. So Enyo has a beautiful, oh my days. Okay. So this is what Enyo made for Beatrice Ajiman, our CEO. It looks like her. It does, right? It looks like it. So I'm receiving this on behalf of Beatrice Ajuman from Enyo. Thank you so very much. This is absolutely beautiful. It does look like it. It does. Now I am interested in mine. Can I see what you have? Like <laughs> lift it. Help I'm me here. lift it. Show it to the cameras. And oh. you say that, oh, it's true. I must be far away. Oh, yeah. That's me, though. That's me. <laughs> That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Wow. This is beautiful. So if you are to sell this this morning, how much would it be? Really? Please hold it. <laughs> Viewers have it, are not done taking okay, it in. sure. So how much do you think this will be? Or you'll just throw it out there for someone to make an offer. Normally, yeah. is that what happens? No, 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 no. Sometimes I do give a price based okay. on the size right. and what it is. Okay. And then um, since this looks like a commission, yeah. 
maybe about a thousand. So this will be like a thousand Ghana cities yeah. this morning. Okay, <laughs> Alice, I'm super grateful that yeah. you joined us this morning. Her name is Alice Enyonam Souza. She is Nyonyo One on Instagram. This looks amazing. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this you. morning. Thank you so much. For Artistically, I, I, I don't know. I would never be able to do this, but um, you are a superhuman being. Thank That's you. why you're able to do That's this. Lovely. So where Thank does this inspiration you. come from? I mean, I found out I was going to be interviewed by you, and I yeah. thought, wow. Then I, like I said, I right. stalked you a little, and I was right. like, this is amazing. Right. Like, this is an amazing woman. So obviously, Aww. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so very much. You're welcome. I am super. I get to keep it, right? Yeah, I get of course. To keep it. Yes, it's your home. Okay, so thank you very much, Alice Enyonam de Souza. Yeah. She is an artist who joined us this morning to put her feelings on this canvas, exactly what she was feeling about me on this canvas. And it took you about, what, 20, 25 minutes, yeah. I think, to be able to come up with this. And she says that even if you, you think you don't know how to draw, so long as you can do your own makeup, draw your own eyebrows, or probably just put a few things on paper, you would be able to do this, of course, so with some practice and with a little time, of course. So, Alice, yeah. Oh, Ak that's Ak 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. This is still TV3 New Day. This is how she makes a living off painting. You can do so as well. Um, your phone number, one more time, if someone wants to learn. Okay, my phone number is 054 Fantastic. So yeah. please get in touch with Alice and also start making money. You say there are no jobs in the country. This is something that you can do to make some cool thousand Ghana cities for yourself. So keep going. Going, keep hope alive everything will definitely be fine this is still tv between new day miss g is coming up with some good entertainment